Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. I'm so happy you are here. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I post vlogs, so you're ready with me and a little bit of everything in between. So if you're into any of that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Why is this down? Mm, that's right. Yeah, follow me on social media. So I don't even post what I'm about to find about to upload on my social media. If you don't like surprises, you should probably go over there. Follow, subscribe. Say hi, say hey, just announce yourself. Let me know who you are. Um, today's video is going to be something I haven't done in about a month or two, and that is my in defense of Blink. I've done in defense of Ariana Grande, Megan Thee Stallion, Hailey Bieber ish, sure, kind of not really. I do want to do it on Demon Lovato. I feel like, however, it's just going to take a long time because. You know, you know. But today's in defense up is going to be on the one and only Madison Beer. Now, we don't know who Madison Beer is. She is a singer coming from Long Island, New York. She got very, very popular and known around 2012 after being discovered by Justin Bieber and his then manager Scooter Braun. And she kind of released music here and there from like 2013, 2015 type, but she didn't release her official like single and like EP to like 2017, 2018. And until then, She's taking over. I feel like she's not as mainstream. Um, so if you don't know who she is, I probably like I wouldn't look at you crazy because I feel like if you know, you know, if you know, you if you don't, you know, especially if you're like currently online, then you definitely have heard her name before. But unfortunately, Madison has gotten into some controversies over the past like decade. She's been I, I've known her since 2014, since that incident, which we'll get into. But um, let's just get some to some of the controversies. But I think I've talked about Madison before in my like redemption era videos. You want to check those out? I'll definitely link that down below. I sh feel like I said that in the Drake conspiracy video, but I actually am going to link videos talking about Drake. Which, oh my god, I don't even know. What's... He dropped another single, and everybody's saying that it's ass. I haven't listened to it. Maybe I'll listen to it in the vlog, the weekly vlog. So but let's get into Madison Beer controversy slash in defense of Madison. So the first main controversy, which I feel like this this was kind of circling around like 2015, 2016, was that essentially her mom bought her career from Scooter Braun because there was a photo circling around of her mom. I'm pretty sure her name is Tracy and Scooter like hanging out way before people knew who Madison was. People were like, oh, her family bought Scooter, especially since people think her family is wealthy because not only that, Madison's not the only child. She has a younger brother named Ryder who was going to was involved in this unfortunately so they were like how can you just pick up two kids from long island to los angeles and then like madison wasn't making money right off the bat to our knowledge like she wasn't like making music like that she wasn't making money like that at all so people were like oh, her family is rich and they knew that madison wanted to be a singer so they paid scooter and then madison and her mom both came out and said that it wasn't true that her mom had no idea who Scooter was, had no interaction with him, didn't go to high school, didn't date any of that. Because people were pulling shit out of their ass about her mom knowing this man. Um, the second one being that she wants attention because Madison is very young. I think she's 25. I know I'm like, a I think I'm like two years older than her. I know she's like 25 and she's also chronically online. Like literally, if you know, Ma like she's chronically online. She's, I feel like she's, she sees everything and she knows everybody, right? But often she'll talk about her mental health, post photos of her crying. She's also talked about like how she used to see and perceive herself. I just finished her book not so long ago and she, I found out that I had no idea. I knew what, like that happened with Madison and I, like I said, I've known about this girl for 10 years. Um, people think that she just wants attention because her music doesn't get as much attention as she wants it to. So she talks about her mental health. I feel like, especially since people think she's an influencer, which she's not a fucking influencer. She was a singer before influencer was even a term, but she knows the influence that she has. And plus she's around the same age as a lot of her fans. Her fans are like young twenties, late teens type beat. Like speaking as someone who's been to two of her shows, I felt like the oldest bitch in the line. Like, um, I feel like she knows that seeing and hearing that your favorite artist goes through shit too like you're not alone and I also feel like Madison she wants to know that she's not alone too you know and I, I don't think she's struggling anymore which is a good thing but the next thing is that she is a w-h-o-r-e why literally why because number one she sent 
NSFW content to a boy because she didn't think that boy would go on to send it to other people. She thought it was for her eyes and that boy's eyes only. And also because she dated the one of the most popular Vine star, YouTube stars back in the day. Like, I fucking hate... Like, okay, I get it. I get it. You wanted this boy and you're mad that he's dating this girl who's also very pretty. Get over it. Like, I know that the fish in the sea are very, like, disgusting and the sea's very polluted. But, like, you can find your man. You can find your Jack J or your JJ or whatever. Like, he wanted her. She wanted him. They dated for, like, what, three years? Get over it. And, and, and y'all still ain't dating this man. He went on to get another girlfriend and also have a kid with this girlfriend yeah mm -hmm, exactly um over dramatic i really have no notes on that like she's just a girl like i said before you think that we bleed once a week for years and 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 we have a lot of her sanity no um another thing that she flaunts her bodies her th bodies girl she's one person that she flaunts her body in order to make girls jealous because she's, I feel like she's always had like this body type, like very slender, very slim, you know. And this this kind of like peaked around quarantine because um, like most celebrities, she had a big house. She didn't really need to like leave the house. So she would post like bikini photo videos and photos, stuff like that. People were like, you're flaunting your body. You should hide your body. Like you have the body that people want. When is it a crime to flaunt what you have? If I had this body, maybe I would not be wearing a hoodie. I could tell you that right now. I would not be wearing hoodies and sweatpants. I probably would be because it's freezing right now. But I don't think she's doing it so people get an ED to look like her. I think she's just doing it because she likes her body and she's confident. What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Demi said it best. Um, that she is a fake activist. Now, this also peaked around quarantine when the BLM protests were going around around the world, and then some were going around in LA. I think I talked about this in my redemption era video, but essentially, she went to a BLM protest that that then turned into a photo shoot, and there were a bunch of rumors and screenshots of the guy who was um, shooting her that was like, oh yeah, Madison told me to pull up and she paid me, and da da da. But Something to note is that I feel like I've always seen Madison kind of speak up about what's going on in the world, always posting leaks, always showing her support. So I don't think she's like a fake activist. I do think, however, she does take a while to speak up about certain things for someone who is chronically online. But again, I don't know her. I don't know if like she's always the one on Twitter because I feel like a lot of celebrities have spoken up and said like, I don't touch me on my phone. Like Selena's talked about it. Megan's talked about it. I feel like Demi as well. And like, isn't like Zayn Mal like not chronically online either? Like some people just give their accounts to their managers and then they post from there. So, but I don't think she's a fake activist. I, like I said, I, I do think she takes a long time to speak out about things, but she does speak out nonetheless. Then we have just a pretty face. There was this guy last week too, side note, that said that her face was made for a corn and that she should just give up music and just go into the corn industry. That is so disgusting. Like, I, another side note, I am so scared to have kids, especially if I have a girl, because the way that social media is now, I sound like such a millennial boomer ass bitch, but like the way social media is, especially towards girls, like I've seen, unfortunately, like more comments about like, guys being like good luck or like there is like this reddit of this guy who like was very forceful with his wife and like how like girls are about not wanting a man not treating their man and then the guy ends up like it's just so disgusting and i'm just like i don't want to, to i'm gonna turn my girl into jennifer Shrek, basically like if i have a girl i'm like listen i know you're five and you don't even know what multiplication is yet but watch jennifer's body and they're going to take you to self-defense class because fuck around and find the fuck out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with, what the fuck is wrong with men? But people are like, she's just a pretty face and that's it. Especially since people only look at her as an influencer instead of a singer because there was a long period of time when Madison wasn't releasing music because of her shitty ass manager and her shitty ass label that she would just post Instagram photos and essentially that's how she would get her engagement and potential money. But the bitch can sing. The bitch can sing. She can write. As someone who's 
seen her slash heard her live twice ish um she can sing and she can write and she can she makes music for the bad bitches and if you don't get it maybe you're not a bad bitch maybe that's just something that you need to look into i don't know um next one that she uses her sexuality as marketing now a while ago madison came out as bisexual and she's also posted photos of her kissing a girl and talking about how she's attracted to girls there was one i guess there was a song that she had with maggie lindemann i hope i'm saying her last name right who was her opening after life support, life support tour and there was a song that they had together that was like basically about madison's attraction to girls like i forgot what it was called i think i put it right here but People are like, she's fake bi, she's not really bi, she's just using it because being gay or being attracted to the same sex is trending. Mm, I don't know about that one, Pookie, because being gay, queer, whatever, is still unfortunately frowned upon in a lot of areas and a fucking crime in a lot of areas as well. So I don't think she would just be doing this just to get some attention. Like, if she likes girls, she likes girls. If she likes men, she likes men. Also, the thing is that she's only publicly been in relationships with men. So she had a relationship with Jack Alinsky, Zach Bia, and Nick Austin. And then there was rumors that she dated some influencer named Claudia. But that's not, like, confirmed or denied. But if the bitch is bi, the bitch is bi. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't think someone would be like... Yeah, I'm bi for like fake. I mean, except, unless you're um, what's that girl's name that was like I'm gonna be in the pit. Unless you're her, like only sexualizing and fetishizing girls because you just like how they look and not like their personality and you have no interest in dating them. I don't think that's Madison. I don't think she would be going along with this for years as well if that was the case as well. Then the last one, which is very very recent, is that she was really really silent with the israel and palestine war until she noticed that people weren't attending her tour so madison bear released her second album silence between songs and as we all know with an album comes a tour she is currently on tour i want to say it just resumed back um she had like overseas and then now she's back in the u.s and unfortunately a month later the war between israel and palestine was brought on into the general public attention and that's when like mainstream media finally picked up on what was going that almost been going on for like decades yeah um and if you do not know madison beard does practice the jewish religion and she's previously talked about wanting to visit israel because she has a family there and people were like you're very very silent like she did not for a while like i said she does have a problem with not speaking up about things right away but like again she's probably not as trying to on as i i think she is um but her brother and her dad were very quick to show their support for israel and people were like madison what do you have to say like you have this big influence we know that you like talking about things we've seen you before talk about blm what is your standpoint on this and unfortunately people were so just like disappointed with her silence that they decided to either not attend her tour or if they already had a ticket to her tour they were going to sell it to get the money back because they didn't want to support anybody who was a zionist and this didn't help the case as well so she had this friend that was i guess new to the what are we called what is madison beers fan page called by the way beers i don't think that's it but there was a new friend that was new to the fan base probably not new to madison but like again i don't know this bitch's life i just know her music and i bopped to it but there was this friend that she had who also supported israel even to the point where he attended like some parade rally in beverly hills and as someone who's unfortunately encountered these type of rallies there's like this little space in beverly hills that you go on the wrong day you will not feel safe <laughs> like i distinctly and this is like engraved in my brain it was like maybe three or two years ago i was driving in beverly hills and when these things go on like you have to take a detour because they take up an entire street with their ignorance and it was when the ukraine and russia war was brought onto mainstream media and i remember there was this guy who stepped on top, on, who stepped on top of a car and like waved a flag and i was like get me out of here and then like last year i was working 
And there was just a Trump rally. Like, after his indictment and all that stuff, I was like, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Back to Madison. Um, people were just like, you're only, and then people were like, you're only, like, wanting to speak up because you see that, the, that your tour is swapping. Because she did go into Twitter space and she was crying. And that's kind of where it goes back to the she just wants attention. Because... You know, she is not a mainstream artist just yet. Like, yes, the venues that she plays now are a lot bigger than she than the venues she played last time. The ticket prices are more expensive than they were last time. But eventually she did speak out. And she's only she's spoken out more than once. I will give her that. She's delivered links and she's also talked to people. So I will say that unfortunately it did take a minute for her to be like, hey, I do not support what's going on between these two countries. But I'm not just speaking out because I say that people are selling tickets to my tour. I'm speaking out because it's right. But, um, I guess, like, here's also my thing with entertainers and artists being very, very silent with the w war. We'll call, we'll call it a war. But I can see people only being silent because... Um, right after, we all know the Hadid family is very strong and Palestinian, and unfortunately they were docs. And I feel like a lot of artists don't want to get docs, or they just don't, you know, and it's like, I get it. Not everything has to be for social media. Like, look at The weekend. He's donated to Gaza twice, and like the first time, he didn't talk about it, but the second time, he, he like reposted like some news article. But I mean, come the fuck on. You guys can do something. It doesn't have to be a social media post, but you can donate. You can unfollow. You can follow. You can like, like, even like Ariana Grande has liked pro Palestine posts. Victoria Romane has demanded a ceasefire. Like, you could, uh, Billy, I would wear that little pin. You know, you can do something. But however, I have not seen Madison at any pro, it's not real businesses or any business that. Are supporting or funding it's not real so I will give her some props for that the tour however is doing really well it's not the fact that y'all can't shut the fuck up for five seconds we just went through this for Beyonce look around everybody on you y'all can't stay quiet when she's like silence for like five to seven seconds let me just me now if I go to the LA show the last show and y'all can't stay silent we may have some words we may have some words because what, what do you mean although I forgot who, because her, her show's at the Greek Theater, and I forgot who had a show at the Greek, Greek Theater last year. It might have been Serena, because I don't think Olivia was on tour. And it was like, influencers down. And I'm like, oh, someone's going to ruin it. Someone's going to ruin it. Um, but that is my In Defense of Madison Beer. This is probably like a lot shorter than the last In Defense of, especially the Selena one, or like the Haley one, whatever. That one was a doozy. That one was a doozy. Um, my personal opinion on Madison, I love her music. I enjoyed her music. I do. Um, it sucks. Like, I feel sorry. Not sorry, because she is a rich white girl who lives in Beverly Hills. But just because she is a rich white girl who lives in Beverly Hills or wherever the fuck she lives, doesn't mean that she doesn't have her struggles. I mean, having... Having being bullied isn't easy, but being bullied online and you're a public figure isn't easy as well. And then you have to, on top of the fact that like something that you sent to a boy is now has has been seen um in thousands and millions of eyes, and then you're you're dating a popular viner and just a popular famous person on top of that, and then just ugh, like I I'm, I'm I hope she's found peace. I hope she's happy, I hope she's good. Uh, however, I do hope that she continues the activist train. I do hope that she continues using her influence and following for good. But let me know your personal opinions about Madison. I'm alone. Again, no hates. Um, do you listen to Madison? Do you know about Madison? What's the deal with Skrilla? Did you enjoy this video? Hopefully you did. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, stay strong, stay safe, YOLO. And I'll see you next one. Bye!